Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to learn about the git diff command. So, what is this diff command? Let's open the presentation. Now, the diff command is mainly used in git to track the difference between the changes made on a file. That means if you have made any changes on the file, if you have updated or edited the file, so if you want to check the changes between the previously how it was and now the changes what I have made, if you want to know the difference between the two files means between the file means, so you can use the diff command. So diff command takes two inputs, that means two input two files and reflects the difference between them. Now, in order to, so for example, here as you know that, so git will be having three areas, three states. So as we have already learned in the previous videos, so we are able to know that it has three states. That is nothing but first one is the working area, second one is the staging area and third one is the repository area. Now if you want to check the changes between the working area and the staging area, you need to simply type git diff. So git diff if you type the command, what it will try to give is the files which are here in the working area and staging area, it will try to map match the difference between those things, between the, between the file in between those areas. Now if you want to check the difference between a file which is present in the staging area and the repository area, then you need to write git diff hyphen hyphen stage. Okay, so then it will give you the file, the changes on the file which is present in the staging area and the repository area. So which is the file present in the staging area and repository area, the difference between these two places, it will give you the difference. Now if you want to check the changes, whatever, if you want to take, check, check the difference of the file between the working area and the repository area, you need to write git diff head. So now these are the three commands, these are the diff command how you will be using in different different areas. So now if you want to check between these two areas, you need to use this command git diff command. If you want to check the difference between staging area and diff repository area, you need to use git diff stage. And if you want to know working area and repository area, you will be using the git diff head. Now if you try to see here, now you will be able to understand. To, to check the changes in the working area and the staged area, we will be using the git diff command. Okay. Now in order to check the changes between the stage area and the repository area, we will be using this git diff stage command. Now if you want to check the changes between the working area and the repository area, you need to use git diff head. So now let's try to see it in the practical representation. Okay. So now I am removing this one. So let's open the, here let's open the command prompt. And if you try to see ls here in our uh, previous project only in the sample project, we have only index.html. Let's try to check the status, sorry, git status, sorry, again I pressed it wrong, git status, okay. So now we are on the branch master, nothing is there. So let's clear it out. Now what I will try to do is, I will try to create a new file, vi contact.txt, okay. I have created a file. So in this file, what I will try to write is contact page details. Just I will write contact page details. Let's escape it and call on wq. So let's try to save it. So now if I try to see the git status, now you need to remember that this contact.txt file which is in the red color, it is in the working area. We have modified the file, but it is in the, we have we have created a file, but it is in the state, it is in the working area only. That means you need to understand this one. It is still in the working area only. Now I will move this file contact.txt from this working area to the staging area. So how we can move this one? So just we can write git add contact.txt. Okay, contact.txt. So now it has moved into the staging area. So if I try to check git status, so it is in the green color. Now it is in the stage. So if you want to unstage means you can restore, git restore. You will try to see that command also afterwards. So now we have, so if I type git status, it is in the staging area. Now what I want to do, so again what I want, what I decided is, again I need to change this contact.txt file. So what I will try to do, so again I will try to change it after pushing it to the stage. So now, here in this one, so changes made again, just I am writing changes made again, like this I am going to escape colon wq. Okay, so now if I type, if I try to write git status, here see one new file is there that is in the stage, but the modified thing, so what I have written right now, modified changes, this made changes again, 
that is still in the working area so now if you try to see here so now the changes recently what i have made is it is in the working area but the che but the file creation and the and the and the uh, and the and the data that I have written previously, it is in the staging area. Now I want to check the difference between these two things. So now if I want to check the difference between these two things, means what I need to do? So I need to write git diff. So if I try to check the changes, so what it is trying to give? So here you will be able to understand. So diff it is trying to give a the slash contact.txt and b slash contact.txt. So it is the name file name given. So contact.txt it is the name, it is the changes it is trying to check. And this is the hash value that is created. Why? Because in order to check the changes, it will be creating. This is the file number index. So it will be constant like that only. And here minus minus a contact.txt it is trying to give. And the plus plus is in the files it is trying to give. And here if, if you are able to see, these are the chunks. So it is starting from the first line in the a slash contact.txt. And it is showing the number of lines. It is only one line. And here this is in the... What we can say, the, uh, this one is second one, b slash content.txt is nothing but the file present in the working area. So now it is telling that the change is made here, the second line. So now if you try to see the staging in the staging area, the file content.txt which is already present, it is in the contact page details. But the changes made again is the plus icon that as I have newly added in the working area. So this is the diff it is trying to give. So now we have seen the changes. Now what I will try to do, git status, if I try to check. So now we have the changes that is in the staging, staging area and also in the contact.txt it is in the working area. Now I want to check the file contact.txt the changes present in the staging area and the repository area. In the repository area up to now the contact.txt file is not present but I want to check the difference. So now I can, how can I check the difference here? So now what I will try to write git diff hyphen hyphen stage. So if I try to write here see it is telling that index is 0, 0, 0. that means in the repository the file not yet existed so that is the reason it, it is showing 0, 0, 0, and it is trying to tell new file mode and 100644 is a constant like that it will be showing the file number index and here 641673 is the repository that uh, that is the hash name and here it is telling the slash dash slash down nothing is present in the repository and plus plus this is the thing is saying now in the staging area we have only the contact page details this is the only line that i have added in the staging area but in the what we can say in the working area what it is having again another line is there that is nothing but the changes made by again again changes made that is the line it is present in the working area only that is not present in the staging area so that is the reason it is showing contact page details only the new line added in the staging area so this is the difference it is showing between the repository and the what we can say in the staging area now i want to see the changes present in the repository and also in the working area so what i can do git diff Head. I can write git div head. So now what it is trying to say in the repository nothing now no file is present okay fine but in but in the working area we have a file that two lines has been added in the working area. So this is also the line which is not present in the working uh, repository and it is present in the working area and changes with these are the two lines that has been added it is trying to show. Okay so this, this is the changes so you need to remember so these are the changes you need to check. So now what I can do so now what I will try to do is git status. So now what I will try to do is git commit hyphen m contact ta contact file added. So I will write something like this. So if I try to see, so one file is added to the commit. So that is in the repository area. It went to the repository area. Now if I try to check the status, sorry, if I try to check the status here. So now in the staging area, nothing is there. It has went into the repository area. But still in the working area we have contact.txt that is nothing but the second line is present here. Now if I want to check the git diff here. So git diff. So now what is the git diff it is showing? Git diff it shows between the working area and the staging area. So now in the working area the new file has been added rather than the staging area it is trying to show. So now if I want to, if I want to check git diff hyphen hyphen stage. It, it doesn't show anything. Why? Because in the stage we don't have the contact.txt file. It doesn't move to the stage file. Now if I want to check between the repository and the working area. Now if you try to check the difference between the repository area and the working area. So we type the command git if yet. Here you will be able to see that changes made again. It is present in the working area only. It is not present in the staging area. 
so this is how we will be checking the changes between the what we can say working area staging area and the repository area so for example if i type git status and if i try to move it to the staging area so git add content.txt so again i am moving it to the staging area let's clear it and if i try to check the status again so now this has been moved into the staging area now if you try to check git diff now nothing changes will come why because in the working area we haven't made any changes so now in the staging area only it is there so if i want to check the difference between staging area and the repository area what i need to do git diff hyphen staged so now it will give you the difference between staging area and the repository area so this is the line that has been added and it is in the staging area now if i try to check git diff head now this is this this is the changes made again in the repository area and the working area so we are able to see okay so this is all about how we will be making the changes okay so now in the working area we have already represent right in the working area so this is the difference we are able to get this is how we will be checking the git diff so we have we have seen that working area and the staging area staging area and the repository area and also working area and the repository area also we have seen so this is how we will be using the git diff command hope you understood about the diff command so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you